No, I'm not putting this on the roof. I'm going to use it in a very creative way in the house. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Okay, looking at this, you might think, hey, what are you doing, building a barn? Well, no, I'm just trying to come up with a creative and cost efficient way to put a ceiling in this room. This is actually galvanized roofing material. Um, it's a very thin gauge. In fact, it's, it's the thinnest gauge I could find. Um, the reason I did that is because it was less expensive. These sheets were $15 a piece. And um, the ridging on here, if you ask for this, these are 12 foot sheets and they're two and a half inches from this point to this point. So that gives you an idea of the undulation or the ridging on this particular kind of barn roofing. So anyway, I decided that, hey, why not use this on the ceiling? Because if I did, I could do the ceiling for about 130 bucks. And that's what we've done. So if you look up, you can see that we've got the entire ceiling complete. And what we've got is a series of little screws that have been placed in there. And what we learned is that the size screw they recommended at the store really didn't work. And it was this screw here. This is a stainless steel screw. However, what we were finding is that this thing was really too big for the gauge of metal. And when you talk about the gauge of metal, that's like the thickness of the metal. So this is really a thin gauge metal. So what was happening, it was crimping the tin or the, the galvanized material. It was causing little divots and it didn't look very good. So we went to a smaller head galvanized screw like this, which is one and five eighths inches. And that seemed to work a lot better. That was Tony's idea. And you can see, you can barely see them along the, the, the lines of the ceiling joists across here. And then if you look at the, the ceiling connects to the west wall, he's got a little jig that he's made that follows that undulation. So he's gonna cut one out that'll fit under each one of those pieces for this wall. And then we'll have a straight piece that'll run along the south wall because there are no undulations there, you can see. And so we'll use a six inch board and the bottom of that board will be level on this side and this side so it'll look like the crown cornice in here. And I know it looks like a mirrored ceiling, but you can't see yourself in it. And hey, if you don't like it shiny like this, you can paint the stuff. So what I have here is a ceiling that's finished. I don't even have to paint it, it's ready to go. And it was so cost effective. If you're enjoying watching these updates, check in regularly and tell a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.